Good morning to you all. Hello, I'm Kirk Jacob. Firstly, a very warm welcome to you from wherever you are today. I would like you to pray with me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This morning, we bring ourselves to the Lord just the way we are. The Lord says, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there, even in our most unusual situation of virtual gatherings. Firstly, we take a few quiet moments to center ourselves by inviting the Lord into our presence. We welcome the Lord into the noise or the deadly quiet and emptiness inside us and around us. We notice in our empty streets, with the closure of retail shops and even our churches being closed for the daily bread of the Eucharist. We give thanks for the people who bring our milk, our bread, our post and food to our homes. We thank God for the gift of our daily bread as we pray in our first language the words that Jesus our friend and Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. We now listen to the word of God. The Israelites left Mount Hor by the road to the Sea of Suf to skirt the land of Edom. On the way, the people lost patience. They spoke against God and against Moses. Why did you bring us out of Egypt to die in this wilderness? For there is neither bread nor water here. We are sick of this unsatisfying food. At this, God sent fiery serpents among the people their bite brought death to many in Israel. The people came and said to Moses, We have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. Intercede for us with the Lord to save us from these serpents. Moses interceded for the people, and the Lord answered him, Make a fiery serpent and put it on a standard. If anyone is bitten and looks at it, he shall live. So Moses fashioned a bronze serpent, which he put on a standard. And if anyone was bitten by a serpent, he looked at the bronze serpent and lived. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I don't know about you, but listening to that reading about creepy, crawly, poisonous snakes, I would say, keep me well out of that room at all costs. Looking at the struggles of the people of Israel, their context is the wilderness. They accused Moses and God of bringing them into the wilderness to die. Their resentment is towards God. They accuse God of being a murderer, of wanting bad and not good for them. They are plagued by poisonous snakes which bite and kill many of them. So God instructs Moses to make a model serpent of bronze and set it on a pole so that anyone who is bitten can look at the bronze serpent and live. Note how God uses the very thing that people fear and despise the most. God is telling them that despite their blasphemies and doubts, he does have their good at heart. Likewise, we could replace the serpents with the coronavirus today. How many people living with the coronavirus and those of us close enough to its epicenter are going through our own wilderness of asking soul-searching questions and not getting many answers, of wanting a way to express our internalized fears, anxieties, impatience and doubts which have been caused by the need to self-isolate and maintain social distancing to avoid spreading of the virus. We pray that we can place our full trust in God's providence, like Jesus did at Gethsemane, and never give up, especially when death faces us in the face, 
for God always has what is good at heart. And here's a closing reflection. Every day I need you, Lord, but this day especially. I need some extra strength to face whatever is to come. This day more than any other, I need to feel you near me, to fortify my courage and to overcome my fear. And so, dear Lord, hold my trembling hand. We bring our time of prayer and reflection to a close as we make a special sign of the cross to lead us through this day. Father, Son and Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you for joining us today and praying with us. God bless us all. Amen.